Greetings, everyone. Well, I wanted to share something with you today that um, Lynn and I took part in a prophetic roundtable a few days ago in honor of the prophetic roundtable that Bob started back in the late 80s. And one of the revelations that I received that day was um, the Lord said that we are in the valley of yes and amen. Now, 2 Corinthians 1.20 says, For all the promises of God are in him, in Christ, are yes, and in Christ, amen, to the glory of God through us. So it's a matter of us. Uh, we have been holding on to promises that God has given the body of Christ, and those times are at hand. You know, there are many through scripture who were given promises, and they saw them come to fruition. You know, Abraham, look at Mary. <laughs> she was given the promise of a son, and she said, yes, you know, be it unto me, Lord. She said, yes. Her, She saw that promise come uh, to fruition. Um, Sarah, Esther, you know, these are different ones in scripture, and there are many, many more. King David, you know, he was given the promise of being king, and then he became king. It didn't happen right away, but he held on to that promise of yes and amen. Now, what I believe, because the Lord said this is the valley of yes and amen, we're in like that place, the valley of decision. Joel 3.14 says, Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. I believe that's where we are. You know, if, if you're in a valley, the valley is down low and the mountains are up high. Well, there are many mountains that we have had to uh, conquer, so to speak, okay? But we are in that place now. The only mountain we need is the mountain of God. That's where we should be headed toward all the time. He is the promise in the earth today. Ezekiel 37.1 says, The hand of the Lord was on me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones. Now remember, those bones were very dry, right? And what did God say? Prophesy to those bones. And, you know, the bones came together and, of course, formed the body and there, there was no life in it. He said, prophesy to them. That is where we are today. We're in that valley of yes and amen. We will speak those things that are not as if they were, and they will come to pass. Um, a few years ago, the Lord told me that he, he compared Bob and myself to Moses and Joshua. He said, Moses was anointed to take the children of Israel to the promised land, but Joshua was anointed to take them in to the promised land. And he said, like Bob, Bob was anointed to raise up the body to bring them, teach them and, and bring them to a, a certain place. But then it's, he said, it's up to you. You are anointed to take them into the promises of yes and amen. So that's where I believe that we are. We're in that valley, but we have to decide who do we choose? Are we going to put our faith and our trust in God and stand on the promises? There's many promises in the Bible. They are meant for us in Christ to glorify him and bring uh, light into a dark world and give glory to God. Okay, so that's one of the words I wanted to share. I'll have more to share later. Be blessed till next time.